What's up, guys? Gonna go ahead and do the Watt mission again, live com. Uh, let's go ahead and no, don't want that. Go ahead and get the right order. What sun fact? Soldier, spy, poggle. Spy and poggle don't really matter what order they go in. Just I just always do poggle last. Just my way of going it. Let me go ahead and show you speeds and just mods real quick, just because I don't really do that a lot. Uh, GBA. Lots of hit points, pretty fast. He he usually hasn't been 270, but had some mods that have gotten the move around, and I got him to 270 recently, so that was pretty awesome. But I've I've been able to do it pretty successfully with two 250, so it's not that bad. Uh, a sun fact, just a defense set, nothing really special, not even that fast. Really supposed to mod him to be tanky, but eh, I don't really care that much for him. Soldier, he's a little faster for a soldier. 233 is, 223 is pretty fast, but he doesn't really need to be fast. You just need to have a lot of crit chance, and 87 is pretty good, but man, you should always get him. Oh, come on, guys. You should always try to get him a little higher than that, and it's not bad. Always three crit chance. Spy, I uh, have this offense here. Should really be crit damage, but I just can't pass up on 20 speed. Come on. just It's just ridiculous. So he's almost 240, but his crit damage isn't really that good. And so, but I would prefer crit damage over speed. But I just like the speed on him just because Poggle is pretty good for me. And so here's Poggle. I still have some, like I even have some blue mods over here that need to be sliced, but Got the almighty 30% potency on the cross, 250 speed. I've done it with less on Poggle, but he does need a good amount of speed. 91% potency, that's more than enough. So let's go ahead, run it through, and see what we do. Uh, typical troopers, we always get, I think this is always the same, no matter what. And then they... I think they are supposed to, I think as long as you have, I can't remember what's the speed you need to get to beat, I think it's like 275, I think. So, go ahead, Billy block him, get him out the way. We're going to, since Medic's about to take a turn, we're going to try to Billy block him so he doesn't heal. All right, uh, get rid of that. Taunt, and then we're going to try to get the Sharpshooter Billy block, perfect. Get this sharpshooter ability block. Perfect. Work on the ability block for commander. He's next up. It's that turn meter gain. And then. Alright. So here's where I think a lot of people mess up. You're trying to get the ability block over here on this clone commander. But the sergeant just lost ability block. And that's something you always have to be wary of. Because one AOE from this guy. And you're that's, that's your run. Especially if you're doing this at low gear. Now he doesn't have a lot of health. Which. So that's not really a big issue, but for for people who don't really have them as geared as well as I do, that's this is this is your problem that you face where you have someone that's ability that you need to be ability block that's not, and that just ruins your run because one AOE or one big hit from a from a spy or the AOE days from uh arc just ruins runs and so those are guys that you just need to have ability blocked and then real quick just want to talk about the medic i always keep the medic for like last to kill because he's just going to do basics as long as you keep the ability block on him so it's one of those things that's like not that big of a deal ah shock t great <laughs> I really like facing Shock T because he gives that counter and it's not fun to deal with. So, just like always, we're going to go ahead and try to get ability block on the sharpshooter. And there we go. Well, he's dead. So now that he's dead, we're just going to keep medic ability blocked, hopefully, until that. But, also, yeah, the uh, Hellfire droid, it pretty much... Uh, cools down every little wave so that's one thing that like really will help you out is using that as many times as you can to just kind of 
I don't know, make your runs a little easier. It applies a bunch of debuffs, puts down some uh, some staggers. So that's always really good. And so, just something I think people really misunderstand and then not do a lot. I always sit there, and when people usually lose a run, like, well, did you use the Hellfire Droid off the bend, or did you did you do this or that? And a lot of people are like, oh, I didn't really use the Hellfire Droid. I didn't really didn't think about it. It's a Hellfire Droid, and even the little Summon B2 is just another little, like, little tidbit that, like, helps out. And that you don't really realize it until I'll show you in the final wave because that's when I I don't use the B2 little summon until the end because it's cooldown takes forever. So there's no real point to use it at the beginning when these waves are pretty uh, basic, pretty easy. All right. See, look, we already have the Hellfire ready to go. So we're just going to pop that right off the bat. I see down anyone. We didn't get any stagger. That's all right. Got the ability block on Sergeant. All good over there. Big hit on Medic. He's ability blocked. Now with Mace, a lot of people go, t whenever they see a Mace, they just like basically crap their pants because they're like, oh my god, it's Mace Windu. He can one-shot people. Well, he can only one-shot people that have an ability on him, so I'll just save him for last. Oh, look. There's Shatterpoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit there and we're going to wait for good old Poggle to come over here and dispel that debuff on him any minute now Poggle should probably be next or not there we go and Poggle can dispel debuffs so there we go he's dispelled and then we got Billy Block shower point again but now Mace is basically dead so we don't even have to worry about it I would honestly say that anytime you see these clone troopers save them for last they're just tanks. They do no damage. Yes, their taunt's a little annoying, but you have but you have Sunfact to dispel it, so it's not that big of a deal. So we got Mace out the way. Now there we go. We got this clone trooper left, so now we're going to try to just prolong this battle with basics, try to come into the final wave with full, with all our abilities ready, and good amount of health and protection. All right, so we got Ark. So it's uh, it's Ayla and them. It's okay. So now, real quick, if you read the B1 battle droid, so we're going to read it real quick. Summon B2 rocket droid to the ally slot if it is available. Dispel all, deb all buffs on enemies. Separatist allies gain 50% turn meter, and droid allies reset their cooldowns at the start of the turn. Now, the cool thing is we already have a summon in the brute. So now when we summon use this, it won't summon the B2 rocket droid, which is perfect for us because we don't want it because we would much rather have the brute to tank, but we're going to gain 50% turn meter. So as long as you have it lined up like this where, look, we're all here. They're, they have a lot of turn meter. We really don't have a lot of turn meter. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start, and we have 50% turn meter, everyone, and now we're basically going to take the next five turns for the most part. So Arc Trooper's ability block. Now we're going to work on this ability block on the Sergeant. And hopefully we can get that. There we go. Then you want to try to ability block Luminara before you go for a kill. Because if you sit there and get an Arc Trooper low on health and then she heals them, that's pretty annoying. Uh, also, use the, uh, the special on Sunfact because... It can get a blind out, which is pretty helpful. If you don't know what blind is, basically just means that the next attack an opponent does, they miss. So, pretty useful. Come on. Can we get the... There we go. Ability block. Now we're going to try to go over here and get the ability block on Luminara. There we go. We got it. Let's see. We just saw uh, Sergeant miss that one right there. So, he uh, that was pretty well good. All right. We got him down. Hopefully we can get the kill. No. And that's where crit damage comes in. And a lot of crit damage would have probably gotten the kill there. Finish off the sergeant, hopefully. And then... And see, look. this The Hellfire tank is already healed back up. And we've just started this wave. Not healed back up, but cooled down. 
So we can go ahead and take out Luminara. And then just go ahead and heal. There's no point not to. I always try to save my heal to the end. So that way I don't have to worry about it. So now at this point, where I'm looking, I'm I, we pretty much got it. This is in the bag. We got the arc once you pretty much once you get the arc trooper and the clone sergeant down in this wave, you pretty much got it. This is the easier of the two waves, I would say. But still, facing an arc trooper, if you're not careful, an AOE days can really just piss in your Cheerios, have a bad day and you won't be able to recover it so that's about that i hope this one really helped because i uh, try to do different versions of this watt vid so that way we can have a bunch of just different variety of it so hopefully showing the mods off at the beginning really does help out a little bit so uh i want to have a wonderful day and a happy new year actually kind of happy it's 2021 so we don't have to deal with this BS of the last year. So, you know, this was a